what's up what's new what is happening out there youtube welcome to video three of a four-part video series that i'm doing exploring a document designed to help you guys start off streaming really strong if you haven't already please watch videos one and two so that you have some of the things that i've talked about beforehand if you have well let's get into this All right, everybody, here we go. Here is section number three, collaborative content. Now, I know right now you're probably like, whoa, Aaron, I haven't even started streaming. Why are you already talking about me streaming with other people? But seriously, this is very important and is going to provide you a useful idea that will help you grow and to start it as a foundational thing that you just integrate into your content right away, rather than starting to create content and then figuring out how to integrate this later. So here we go from what I wrote at the top. Again, I'm gonna just straight up read this for you guys. One of the best and most effective ways to grow as a content creator is to collaborate. Collaborations expose other people's communities to you and your content while simultaneously exposing your community to your collaborator's content and communities. It also lets you create new and unique content while still being true to what you want to do. Finally, it can be used to create buzz around a stream, which can let you hype up a stream event even more than your normal streams will be. All right, so here is the questions. Again, this was a document that I created when sitting uh, to sit down with a friend of mine who wanted to start streaming. This was all designed to try to get him streaming, becoming the most successful streamer off the bat that he could be, rather than having to go through all of the lessons that I painstakingly learned along the way in my time streaming. Question one, who do you know locally who also creates content like you? Are there spaces to meet new people locally? This doesn't have to be within the streaming space. Maybe you know about a local group of gamers who happen to be playing the same uh, game that you do. Maybe you do happen to know a bunch of streamers. Maybe there is a YouTube collaborators group around you. Maybe you're creating artwork and there are local spaces for different artists to meet up. Finding different groups that might have something in common is going to introduce you to people who may be available to collaborate with you. And being able to do something locally is going to be a heck of a lot better than trying to find some stranger on the internet, introduce yourself to them, and hopefully convince them to collaborate. Finding someone locally is going to give you an automatic connection that some stranger on the internet may not have with you. Question number two, who do you know within the games or spaces you are creating content? Guildmates, people you always see at conventions, people you frequently act, interact with on social media, people you interact with on Discord or forums, for example. So this is pretty much me breaking down everything. So the first is, who do you know locally? Who could you actually physically like go to or call up and like, hey Jeff, uh, I'm doing a new thing and we've got some crossover. Uh, do you want to sit down, grab a coffee and maybe explore some things we might be able to do together? Is what uh, question one's about. Question two is more like, I always talk to these 27 people on Discord uh, because we've got some uh, similar things in common. Maybe I should uh, reach out to uh, Jeff23 on my favorite Discord. Or, hey, I'm starting to create content in World of Warcraft and I've got, and I'm part of a guild with 600 people and I raid with the same 35 different people that I regularly raid with. Maybe I should reach out to those 35 people in, about doing some different things. Or if you regularly go to conventions, you'll start to recognize familiar faces. People that like, you always high five, well, probably not in the COVID days, but way back uh, in the before days. Then maybe you high fived, maybe you'd frequency at tournaments, things like that. That, that you are going to be able to interact with and reach out to. Question number three, are you active within another streamer's community and could they identify you? If you're active within someone's community, they may already be an easy person to collaborate with. Um, if you're visiting their stream all the time and you're chatting with them and the like, and they can actually like, after the fact, be like, yeah, no, I totally recognize you. Um, and I like hanging out with you, like, let's do something. They are a useful resource. They might already know how to collaborate on things and be totally open to doing some other things and helping people out and potentially helping themselves out in the process. Now, the reason why I put the, could they identify you is because if you're, you know, active within someone's community, but they've got 
um, 5,000 people who are regularly chatting and they couldn't pick you out from anybody else in the list, you're essentially blindly hitting them up. I want you to get interact with people who will know you first. So you're already over that initial hurdle. So you're not doing anything blind. You're not cold calling. You're talking to someone who you know. So right now, just to sum up, we've got people you might know locally, people you might know from various other facets that aren't within your local range, other streamers that you will that you do know, whether personally or just from interacting with their communities for a while. Question four, do you have skills and talents outside of what your stream knows? If you stream, going back to my old standby, Magic the Gathering, but you've also got a talent for woodworking, this is a useful thing to write down. Because it potentially opens up a completely different collaborative space. Just because you have a Magic the Gathering stream doesn't mean that you have to collaborate on Magic the Gathering. Now, it's going to be a little bit harder to introduce yourself to people if you're going across things, but hey, in this woodworking example, maybe you can find someone that also streams woodworking, or someone who does a YouTube series on woodworking, or someone within your local area that does woodworking who might be willing to come on for something that you can blend together into this. Making a list of all your other talents and skills is going to open up the number of people that you could potentially collaborate with. Because if all you're like, well, I'm a Magic the Gathering streamer, so I guess I've made this giant list of people, but only three of them play Magic the Gathering, so I guess that's that. Your other skills are things that you might be able to hit them up with and say, hey, I do this, but I also do this, 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 and this. If any of these might make for fun, collaborative things that we could do. And question number five. So we've hit up the local, we've hit up the familiar, we've hit up people in the space. Finally, we have got are you able to hit up complete strangers? So are you willing to put yourself out there and meet strangers for collaborations? Because it's possible you might not have put many names on the uh, on your answers from before, and that's totally fair. Some people are social, some people are not. Some people have wide social circles, some people have very, very narrow social circles, and everyone's different. I don't know how many names you'll have on your list. So question five really says, how comfortable are you with finding strangers? There are a number of people within the stream educator community that run large discords full of people looking for collaborations. Look into some of their names and look into some of their discords. Often a lot of them have specific sections for you to collaborate on. You might be able to go in and just say like, hey guys, I'm a something, something, something streamer, and I've also got skills in X, Y, Z, and one, two, and three, That uh, and I'd love to do some collaborations on anything uh, involving these things if you guys are interested. It's a way to put yourself out there and find other people who want to make content. So you should have people listed in a bunch of different columns on how you know them and how you might be able to know them. And then you've got a list of various skills in addition to the game and the breakdowns that you have. So now you should have multiple things that you can talk to some of these people about. Please don't go just mass emailing people. For this, you're looking for a collaboration, you're going to be looking for something that is more tailor-made to the individual. So start up a conversation, reach out to a couple people at a time, see if you can get something going. Now this is more going to be something that happens sort of within that first point that you start streaming. So you're probably going to come up with something like, hey, I'm starting to stream on Twitch.tv, I would love to do some sort of collaborations. Um, would you uh, be interested if I if we chatted about something and I streamed it at the same time? Or would you like to come on my stream and we can do something together? I want to explore having guests on. Or you're talking to the other streamer and like, hey, can we do a Zoom meeting and talk about these things together? There's a bunch of ways, so look at sort of who's within your thing and how you could reach out to them. What you're going to then do with collaborative content is build, try to build it into your stream in some way. If you found that you have a schedule that work, a schedule that works for you, can you include this content into that schedule? Maybe not regularly, but as a special event sort of thing. Just like, hey guys, uh, hey guys, I'm working on some collab on a collaboration. I'm aiming for next week. So next week, we're going to have a super special stream. I'm going to be doing some collaborative uh, work with somebody next week. Tune in for that. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm really going to enjoy it. And you guys are going to get to meet another really cool individual or another really cool streamer, something like that. So this is giving you 
So at this point, you now have sort of your goals, what you want to accomplish, what you're regularly streaming, what your skills are, what makes you an expert, and now a list of people that you list of people and locations that you can explore to give you additional content. So at this point, you should have a ton of resources giving you a lot of ideas on what your stream could be about. Collaborations are a hip, are a helpful thing. They're a give and take. When it comes to a collaboration, you should be looking to benefit the other party as much if not more than you are also going to benefit from such a collaboration. Trying to ask a large streamer to collaborate with you entirely so that you can get viewers from them is going to feel very feels bad for that individual. Whereas if you go to them and like, hey, I'd love to collaborate, I can offer you these skills or I can offer you this benefit or this something, they're going to uh, be able to evaluate it much better and be like, man, I can totally get something out of this and we can both benefit. Win-win scenarios are great for everybody. One where only you win is going to make you seem like more of a toxic person within the arena and someone people are not going to work with. You're going to want to give yourself the best optics rather than as a greedy individual who is just going to burn bridges for content. So when you start reaching out for your different collaborations, see about how you can benefit that other person while also benefiting yourself. And don't be afraid to be upfront about it. Like, hey, I'm looking to collaborate. This is part of me trying to grow my stream. I've got a small stream. I don't have a lot of viewers. So what can I do that might benefit you as part of the collaboration? What sort of things do you need? And you'll probably find a lot more success with that. All right, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you have any questions about it, please, Follow the link below either for my Discord or for my Twitch stream. On Discord, we can totally discuss this stuff uh, with other members of the Discord or myself. I'd uh, love to help you flesh out your questions or uh, you can totally do this while I'm live over on Twitch. I would love to help you with figuring this stuff sort of out. So again, links below that you can find the answer to this. If you guys do want to follow me when I am streaming, you will find me on Twitch TV under the name Feldy, and I stream Sundays through to Wednesdays. You can find a schedule over on Twitch for that, and I seriously want to help you guys with that. With that said, this has been part three of four. There's one more video in this segment. Please continue on to that segment, or, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button in case that video isn't out, or you haven't hit that subscribe button already, so that you guys can totally see that in the future. I look forward to seeing what your final documents are and how you sort of finagle that into something that is going to help you have the most success possible. My name's Aaron, aka Feldy. This has been fun, and we will see you guys in the future.